Mantis will get the chance to get themselves some three out of five action. And from Zenodo, instead of the Peach, we're going to go with the Palutena. Okay. Yeah, so 2x Diddy Kong Extraordinaires right here, switching over to some other characters. Obviously, Zenodo, not the biggest fan of how Diddy Kong, I mean, a lot of the Diddy Kong mains just in general aren't the biggest fan of how that character plays in this one. And yeah, of course, MVD is home sweet home here with this snake. And I mean, he has started up here in a very MVD type of style. Use these grenades right here to find openings right here on Palutena. That's what you got to do, man. Palutena, when she breaks that zone, things like this happen. Boom. One more. Okay, absolutely not. But tries to keep the percent coming up here with the short hop nair. I'm actually enjoying the fact that my man actually – he got the – whoa. Did he get stretchered? He did. But, he like, he didn't land on it, though, like, tumble animation. He just, like, stood. He oh. actually hit it. He, I don't think he okay. realized that he was on it. All right. Well, yeah, I was going to say, I haven't seen a stretcher in, like – that's actually the first stretcher I've seen in this game. Yeah. So – well, it still happens. And that's not the first stretcher I think Zenodo has had. I think Zenodo had a different one. Wasn't it a Genesis? He had a stretcher too, but uh, like Genesis 4 or 5. In this game? No, no, Genesis, Smash 4. Oh, okay, no, yeah, I, yeah. I was already saying, I'm, I'm talking about in this game in particular. Stretcher oh, yes. was definitely super common in Smash 4. Yeah, you definitely got to watch where you have, man, when you recover. I mean, it seems like you, you would think it would be a little easier in this one too, with just like how prominent the magnifying glass is on you to see where you're at. But that's, that's one of those ranches where, you know, Zenodo just got bodied by the stage right there. But that's okay, though. Zenodo sitting Damn. and losing semifinals for a reason, but. Right, it looked like he about to be sitting uh, out of the tournament the way he's playing right now, man. The MVD, not wasting any time. Actually caught him with a couple tricks. I like that. First of all, I like that C4 recovery. Uh, he, he got off the Cypher super early, didn't want to take the back air. He's like, you know, let me just blast myself over you. And then Zenodo trying to catch him on the other side, does actually catch him with the F smash. But is it too little too late? Man, he's full, one full stock down, and you know how easy it is for uh, MVD to rack up damage at this early percent of the snake. Oh, man, man, look at this, though. Racking up as well. I mean, yeah, that's that. I'm telling the, the triple neutral air. I'll tell you, man, that's something that Palutena just does so well versus some of the big bodies in this game. I mean, Nair is already a very difficult move to do it across the board. Yeah. For the majority of the cast. But versus Snake, that's hell on earth right there. Okay, Nikita, not at all, but still holds Shield off the ledge. How smart. And he pretty much set up that, like, almost free grab. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, you're either gonna, you're either gonna spot dodge this and I like, get grabbed, or you're gonna shield and get grabbed, so. Yeah, and I like that ledge play right there for Indy. He actually jumped backwards, and I thought he was actually gonna go for up tilt, like you seen right there. She spot or dodge, she spot dodge out and try to come uh, through from another dimension. He still yeah. caught her. That's, that's the reach of up tilt. Man. Bring, <laughs> bring it back, man. That move can hit through I, the coating. I, I, it hits in any timeline. <laughs> Whatever it takes. Bro. Whatever it takes, I'm telling you. <laughs> Whatever it takes. So Indeed. Good up tilt, a good uh, gameplay for, here from MVD. One game away from getting to the finals here. Mm -hmm. It's going to put Zenero out at fourth if he's not able to buckle down. Uh, but damn, yeah, that first game did not, the Palutena did not go well for him. No, definitely not. I mean, he did some things that, you know, Snake is probably used to having done on himself versus Palutena, like the triple nair, obviously punishing his landing, faking him out, like making him think he's going to hit him with up air, getting back to the stage and, you know, switching it up on him. But regardless, though, right there, that definitely was not the best showing from us. No, that's right. Get them hands up. Get them up. It's all right. That's right. Get the hands up. That's right, your time M to shine. B D trying to get one or more game here so we can get to this losers finals, get to the three out of five that promised land for uh, Smashers, man. You know, you know how much they love those. They want three out of five, top one twenty eight if they could. Right. And pool, it was, it was, they want <laughs> round robin, best of five. They want it. I got winners finals in my pool. Yeah, give me that top, give me that three out of five, brother. All right. So uh, I'll see you next weekend if you want uh, round robin. <laughs> All right, there's the quarter. Yes, right. Smart to keep away from the grenade there. In regards if he's just freshly thrown or if he's cooking it a little bit, MVD knows how to convert pretty well, man. But so does Zenoda right here, converting all this damage right here into a lead. Another back there. Where are you going, son? Where are you going? Okay, has to burn the directional air dodge. Couldn't quite catch him, though, with the back air. And I like that. Even when he cannot physically get there on foot, he'll use stuff like auto reticle or even something as simplistic as an explosive flame to keep him pinned down. There's the back air once more, though. Yeah, and he's not wasting any time on that one. So actually caught him, uh, caught him trying to come through. But yep, hit him mean with the back or uh, back here, finished him off. And now, oh, the down tilt actually. Yeah. Uh, well, kind of not expecting to hit. I thought um, the neutral air would hit like the last hit just in case. But... Again? Okay. okay, I thought he was actually going for two uppers in a row. But yes, that back down tilt though, really awkward uh, position there at the ledge. And still actually able to connect. Oh my yeah, get it lifted though. Get yeah. him out of here. Get lifted on some John Legend. That's what I'm talking about. Right. <laughs> I got something new for you and D, homie. <laughs> All right, nice. Going to cook the grenades this time, electing it to use that in accordance to Palutena's Reflect. That's really smart. You know, there's always that opportunity that Palutena will use that as an opportunity to toss it back at you. But there's another up there for the ages. Toss him up there into the blast zone. And with this in mind, Zenoda. This is the Zenoda we should have seen in game number one. Yeah, it might have just been the stage straight up. Like, yeah. I, I feel like the more the people have been going over to uh, to FD against Snake, you know, it makes it a lot easier from the. Oh, my God, Go he's even. out there. Man. 
And the, the C4 was on stage, too, so he would have had to just try to air dodge off that and hope for the best. Yeah. Uh, he would have had to air dodge C4, uh, explode it, and then drop another one and then try to explode it before he hits it. Yeah, so he was pretty much just sitting duck yeah. uh, on that Cypher. And I love the fact that Zanotto did not waste the time to go out there. Like, he knew that he was going to have to uh, up the immediately. So he said, you know what? Let me just go ahead and get out here preemptively, not even give you the chance to try to sure. go for the air dodge. I, I'm already in position. Already in position. Like I said, man, you know, Palutena could just be so oppressive versus a lot of characters. But, you know, in certain cases and situations, definitely versus Snake as well. For moments like that, you know, you're hanging out on a Cypher or doing things like I can toss up Reflect as you're trying to get your grenade gameplay going. That really makes it, that puts MVD in a new position, almost in like a fish out of water type of situation where he's like, all right, I got to cook these a little bit before I uh, decide to toss them out at you. But I think, you know, in cooking them, he's so far away. I'm not exactly sure if MVD can go for the follow-ups that he's looking for here, but I gotta say he's gonna need much more than a grenade here to bring this one back. MVD right here, setting up shop, has the situational advantage right there. Upper and uh, you know, the opponent, not a good position for the opponent to be in, man, at all. So something as simplistic as a back here, or possibly even like an up tilt, can really make life very difficult for you. Roll? Okay, no okay. roll there that time. Actually just jumps right over and again, toss out Cypher again, sir. I want to see it. And he actually keeps, oh, okay, he actually, I feel like he was expecting the air dodge in. And, and same, I'm honestly saying, I mean, air, MVD has definitely been air dodging, trying to get back to the stage sticky on him. I think, uh -oh. he, I think he has a stick. In, yeah, he had a stick. In he baited that, that one out. That was smart. Yeah, he baited that out on both sides. MVD actually does that just so that uh, someone will see him on the side they'll try to, like, jump up there and punish him. You no know, damn well they're not going to get up there. And yeah. so as they get up there and put themselves in a position where uh, they're vulnerable, he'll blow it up and probably get an uh, early KO. Because Think about so how sneaky up. that is. Like, after the lay down, okay, most opponents are like, okay, he's going to try to re-grab me again. Yeah. MVD always elects to jump backwards. And when there's not a lot of room to work, but he's like, okay, I'm not far enough away to go for dash attack. Let me just put the C4 on you and see what I can turn that into. Man. Nice. Or hell, even the Nikita might work for him as well. Obviously, MVD, a lot of options there on that utility belt that Snake has. And obviously keeping the flames coming here. Air cross up. Coming, coming that uh, side uh, quite well with that C4. So here we go. Oh, thought we were going to try to go for the down air. But instead, no, let's, him get, uh, let's MVD get back to stage for free. Can we get a punish here on this one? Nope. Going to hit him with the uh, back air as well. MVD, man, definitely fighting to keep his life alive on this first stop. Okay. Has to burn the directional air dodge up. Now he does have the lead, and like you said, he's certainly fighting for life here. But you know, it doesn't have to fight too hard, especially when you have the lead. Palutena, you know, she's not like the one hitter quitter type of character that some of the other ones are in there the past. Is. She has There's the one hit that. There's one hit that he uh, yeah. that she needed though. The back right. air is going to go ahead and take of that stock. Yeah. Now had MVD play the long game a little bit more, you know, she would have definitely needed a conversion or something. Oh, where are you going? Where are we going? Definitely try to get up out of there. Yeah, man, he tried to hit the Team Rocket right there. You know, when Team Rocket comes through and. They and blasting off. They bl blast it off. Man, so you can't try to get out in a blimp and whatnot. <laughs> yeah, see ya. All right. That's some old school bad guy stuff right there. Back throw. Oh, but he has to see four on him again. Yeah, she's blinking. Oh, oh, I don't know who it's on here at that point. Oh, oh it's oh, definitely on Snake. I can see it on his leg right now. It might have passed it back over. I see the blink. Yeah, okay. Had to get back down to the ground. Uh, no, that dream was on the chest right there. Oh, my God. Okay. And that time, Electra to use both hits there for a tilt. Catching Damn. with the Nikita. Can we talk about the fanciness here? Where are you going, sir? Okay. okay, snaps ledge. So smart. And then that time jumps on the top platform. Now, what we'll always see, anytime the opponent goes back to ledge, MVD will use an up smash right at the ledge. Obviously, it falls in place. You don't want to be hit by it. The minute you hold up shield, he's coming in for the grab. And that's and that's good. I feel like that's why uh, this stage actually kind of works out for Zeno in, in, in a way. Being able to get back on the stage on that side platform instead of having to deal with all these uh, grenade mix -ups. Now, MVD can still cover that platform as well. But if he's covering just the stage, oh, we're going deep for it, but not uh, deep enough. Apparently, was not able to get the back air to connect. I think a grenade actually I got thrown and blown up back there too. Get him out of here. That's so right, real quick one. Okay, he's getting that. Oh, there it is, the up smash. Like I said, so good at the corners of the stage with that tool. Okay, it's neck and neck here, ladies and gentlemen. One game apiece, one stock apiece. Of course, just want to still best of three here for him. Nice to dare out of shield. Yeah, Who said Snake can't quite up close? Stock means uh, a bunch of both of our competitors, man. Who is getting into this losing final? That's what we're trying to find out. Get the neutral air. Oh, oh my they're God. trading all kind of hits right there. The forward air is also uh, hitting, so that means that uh, Zenodo should be getting the advantage on that trade as far as damage. But again, being a, little, uh, a lot lighter than Snake. He's you know dropping I mean? through. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. oh, my God. Not again. He's going to claim another life there with down smash at the ledge. I mean, he has to sweep. I do like the fact that he came up that uh, ledge aggressively with that neutral air, though, with the, uh, the explosion. Oh. I, I say, again, that's what I'm saying. MVD sets it up so that he's allowed to. Uh, okay. Je oh, man, he got so lucky. If that didn't explode, that probably could have been a game as far up as that up air was. Zenodo on him right here. The back air. That is going to be it. Zenodo going super deep for it.
Oh, hold on a second. Yeah, shake my hand, sir. What you doing? Yeah, he didn't know. I mean, Zanotto actually didn't know. He was like, oh, let's keep it. Yeah, I bent. Oh, it's over? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> my bad. So Yeti was already there. He said, sir.